It's a day in the death of Danny B. Strung out, waiting to die. Nothing to laugh at, no one to cry. Just another dirty gray day in the death of Johnny B. Out of the slime and darkness it comes to inflict its life-destroying poison on the careless, the unwary, the unprotected. No sane person would deliberately expose himself to its venom. No intelligent person would venture within striking distance of its fangs. Yet today, young people are flirting with the poison every bit as deadly as that of the snake. But can we help him? We try, but he's long past the point of no return. Then we will stop narcotics from entering the country. We will arrest the peddlers. We will educate our young people to the menace. We will put a stop to this. Yes, we will try. But if you want to defeat your enemy, you must first know him.
moments. The emotional scene with my family, the changes I was putting my mother through, you know, the, the way society was looking at me, all of it just hit me at once. You know, and I, and I went through a lot of emotional changes behind that too. And I just decided that it's time to get help and it's time to do something for myself. You're a poor person, here you have a very expensive habit. In fact, you're really living like a rich person. Because here you're giving yourself something which is going to cost you quite a few dollars per day. And where's the money going to come from? No one's going to give you that much money a day. And as your habit grows, and in other words, as you use more and more drugs, this is inevitable. It's, 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 you know, it's going to happen that you need more and more money. And no one's going to give you that as a gift. There's no one that's going to have to be sorry for you and give you money just to be giving you money. But because you look sick, because you, your habit is coming down on you. The addict has to, like, change his present view that he has of himself. If he has a few remain a walking corpse. And, and until this thing happens, he will continue in his path to nowhere. What, what percentage of director is, is supply oriented? What percentage is demand oriented? You said both are important. Is it 50-50? It's much more on supply. Uh, the, the, money, uh, the monies are much more on supply. Only 24% of today's total drug budget is for demand reduction, and 76% is for supply reduction. No drug policy will succeed unless it has the resources to implement it. We have a budget like those from the past days that continues to substantially over-allocate funds to where research says they are the least effective. Cracked down on Turkey in the early 70s under Nixon, and it popped up in uh, Mexico, and then it popped up in Southeast Asia, Southwest Asia. Same thing with coca cocaine, cracking down in Bolivia and Peru, now popping up in Colombia. Marijuana, the same thing. So we regard the U.S. drug policy of the last 30 years as a colossal failure and a gross violation of human rights as well as of common sense. Possessing less than 5% of the world's population, but almost 25% of the world's incarcerated population. Increasing the number of people incarcerated on drug charges from 50,000 in 1980 to half a million today. Arresting almost 2 million people a year. Allowing hundreds of thousands of people to die unnecessarily of HIV AIDS when proper interventions were available. Allowing tens of thousands of people to die of overdose. Say goodbye to the people, Johnny. You're going away soon. Goodbye, Donnie. It's a day in the death Goodbye, Donnie. of Donnie B. Goodbye, Donnie. Strung out, waiting to die. Nothing to laugh at, no one to cry. Just another dirty gray day in the death of Donnie B.